There was a time when it was hard to make a living as an American off-road racer. But Randy Hawkins not only broke through those barriers himself, he turned his success into gainful employment for many other riders as well. Today, Randy is the owner of Ampro Yamaha, the official Yamaha off-road factory team. Many great riders and champions have worked under Randy's tent, making him a true ambassador for the sport. But there was a time when Randy was known only as a racer and one of the best at his craft. And craft is key because Hawkins built his reputation on the AMA National Enduro Circuit, scoring seven AMA National Championships back when timekeeping was as important as speed and riders had to rely on their own instincts to follow trails and maintain equipment. Hawkins started out humbly in the C-Class of his local series in South Carolina, but he poured a tireless work ethic into his program, resulting in a run of six Enduro titles in nine years from 1988 through 1996, and a return to the top in 2004, winning his final championship aboard a Yamaha YZ250. Hawkins collected an astounding 73 AMA national wins and 13 gold medals at the International Six Days Enduro leading to an induction into the AMA Hall of Fame in 2009. But it's his work with other riders on and off the track that has extended his legacy. Hawkins, along with his longtime mechanic Dale Stegall, began to innovate with Yamaha, not only building the Ampro team into an off-road powerhouse, but also pushing the YZ and WR lines of bikes to new levels. Perhaps fittingly for a racer raised in the Old South, Randy and his crew brought a NASCAR mentality to the preparation and professionalism of an off-road team. Soon, future Yamaha champions like Barry Hawk, Charlie Mullins, Jason Raines, Paul Wibley, and more were emerging from his shop. Through it all, Randy has remained as humble as when he started, now raising three children with his wife Kathy and continuing to guide Yamaha's off-road racing teams. And it's partially due to his own selfless efforts that the sport has grown so much allowing many others to benefit from a process he started nearly 30 years ago.